EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey, NCAA football fans, this is Brian from the EA Sports Game Changers program here to talk about clock management tips for when you're running an end of first half or end of game offense. Now, if you run a play not as successful as you hoped it would be and you want to stop the clock, just hit start, bring up the menu, go to call timeout, hit X on PlayStation 3. It'll call a timeout. You'll get some time to think over your next move, what play call you're going with next without worrying about losing time. Now, another way in college football that you can stop the clock is just by getting a first down. This is another way that college football rules differ a little bit from professional football. I get that first down just a little bit beyond the marker. Clock stops at 156. We get a little bit of a highlight package here. Clock stays at 156 until I've decided what my next play call is. Clock doesn't resume until we approach the line of scrimmage and we're ready to go for that next play. So I have another passing play here, looking at my X receiver in the middle of the field. He makes a good catch. If I don't want to go to the huddle, I'll hold triangle as soon as the play ends. That'll bring up the no huddle mode. I can look through my whole playbook, decide what I'm going to run next. You have a running play here, trying to get off without wasting too much time. And if I get tackled behind a line of scrimmage, I'm just going to push select on my PlayStation 3 controller. That's the easier way to call a timeout, stop the clock again. Take over his ECU in this same game here. He's got a deep passing play, looking for a guy who's a little bit open. Looks like Triangle gets there. He makes a good catch down the field on that play. I'll hold Triangle again for the no huddle play call screen. This time I'll hit R1, call the spike ball play. It's another way to stop the clock even though you lose a down. It's part of clock management in NCAA Football 12. <laughs> 